Hi, welcome to Storybook Crafts. Today we are going to be making a drum that you can wear inspired by a couple of my favorite books from the last few years. This is Paco and the Drum by Matthew Forsyth and Drum Dream Girl by Margarita Eng Engel and Rafael Lopez. Both books are very colorful and have so much to do with rhythm. So let's get into the rhythm of making this drum inspired by those wonderful picture books. What did I use to make this drum? We are going to need a takeout container. This is the kind you get from maybe soup, salsa, uh, guacamole, things like that. You make sure it's nice and clean inside, wash it out soap and water, and we need the top as well. We'll also need some glue. Sticky school glue is great. Uh, if you do not have school glue, you may use a glue stick or you can even use clear tape. We need some markers, lots and lots of colorful markers of your choice. These books are very colorful, so we'll make our drums just as colorful. We'll need some chopsticks. These are chopsticks that I made my drumsticks out of. So this is the kind that you get from takeout. Um, mine happen to be brand new because sometimes you get extras, but you may use chopsticks that were used once. Wash them well. Make sure they're nice and clean for this project. We'll need some ribbon. I'm reusing some ribbon from a present. Long enough so that it will, once doubled up and tied, fit over your neck so that you can wear your drum and some scissors. All right, let's get started. First things, oh, of course, paper to cover your drum. I'm using scratch paper today. Wrapping paper will do. This is a great way to reuse old wrapping paper from a present that you already received but that you loved. Make it the cover of your drum. I'm using scratch paper today. I've decorated it just the way I like it. And to do this, I folded my scratch paper in half, just like that, lengthwise. And then I colored both sides. And the reason for that is when we cover our drums, there may be a little overlap. So there may be some places where you'll need to glue a little extra. So make sure you have enough paper. This happens to be some packing paper that came with a package. I flattened it out and colored that and used that. So once you've got your paper colored to the way you like it, here's my scratch paper that I folded in half lengthwise. I've colored it all up and I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise along that line I made when I folded it. And now I need to cover my drum. So let's get the base of that takeout container. Flip your paper over, starting with one of those papers. Add glue to the back side of where you drew. I'm just gonna kind of follow the design of my paper there. And lay the container right on top of the glue. You just kind of roll it over. If there's a little overlap, you can tuck it right under. Same thing on the other side, roll it over, tuck it under where you need to, or you can even cut it away if you don't like the overlap. There we go. You can follow the lines of the takeout container. Same thing on the bottom, it overlaps a little. No big deal, just kind of fold it under, or you can cut it away later. All right, now we've got that spot here that didn't quite get covered, so that's where I'm gonna use the other half of my paper. Let's get my paper there, get the glue all along there. All right, roll that container over it, starting with the spot that didn't get covered. I'm gonna put that down first so that I make sure it gets covered. Roll that paper right over, fit it on top. And there we go, my drum is just about done. We'll let that glue dry. If there's any pieces that I don't like the way they look and I wanna cut them away, I can do that once it's dried. For now, I'm just gonna fold them over and set my drum down. Oh, it's so cute. Now for that ribbon. There we go, 
press it down so it stays flat where I folded the paper. Take your ribbon and fold it in half. Again, you want to make sure it's nice and long so that it does fit over your neck. Test it out first to make sure where you'd like to make your knot so it's not too short. And put the knot inside the container. If your hands are big enough, go ahead and hold the ribbon open with the knot inside over the opening of the container and place the top on. If your hands aren't quite big enough to reach across the container, get someone whose hands are big enough to help you hold the ribbon in place. Put your container top on and your drum is ready to wear. So cute! If you want to get really creative, you can use the top as a stencil and or a guide and make a paper top decorated for the top of your drum. You could make it jingle and jangle by putting bells or buttons, beans, pennies, or anything little inside pebbles, something to make it jingle, jangle when you shake it. Today all I'm using are my drumsticks. So get your chopsticks and color them up with your markers. This kind of marker works really well on chopsticks. And you can see even if the marker is running out of ink, not a big deal. Get some color on that chopstick with your markers. Bring those colors all the way around and color your chopsticks the way you like them. You could even cover these chopsticks with paper if you are so inclined. As you can see, when you take your time, and take your marker along those nice smooth wooden chopsticks, it absorbs the color really well. And you end up with these great colorful drumsticks for your drum. Okay, hours of musical fun. I hope you enjoyed making your drum and I hope to see you next time on Storybook Crafts from the Alameda Free Library. Bye-bye.